Welcome to the Foxwalk Primitive Review of the Ben Singer Bolo. So we're looking at the Ben Singer Bolo, and he modeled this, at, of course, after a Jess Bolo. Uh, it's got a 9 inch blade, a 5 inch handle natural canvas micarta and a sheath that is basically good enough to keep you and your pack from getting cut. Uh, the steel I believe is 80 CRV2 and it is approximately a quarter inch thick at its thickest point. Jim is an honest to god bladesmith so he actually blacksmiths out the steel um, so I mean it's not like he's getting stock and doing stock removal. So I can't tell you it's exactly a quarter inch. But the knife is distal tapered in both directions toward the tip and toward the handle. So it's very light and extremely responsive. And it transfers a very minimal amount of shock to my hand when I'm hitting something dense. Uh, it is sharp as a razor as mostly all uh, Jim's knives are. And uh, it's pretty much a weapon as much as it is a woods tool. Now the bolo comes from an area of the world, the Philippines, uh, where it's known primarily as a jungle tool. And it has been adapted to serve the needs of jungle combat. So, in the light of that, we chose this location to get as jungle-like as absolutely possible, which is not all that hard to do in the, in the southeastern Appalachian region. So... Without further ado, let me give you what you want and uh, show you some footage of this thing doing its, doing its duty, doing its job. Let's get to doing something. This spot right here, I bet it'll hewn real well. Clear this spark off. Oh yeah, look at that. I mean, that little sweep right there, that little belly, that's just doing perfect little hewn curls. Look at that. See that look? It's how a lot of old style cabins get flat sides. Is you actually have guys doing that with a hatchet. And that, that's what I call hewning. Look at that. That's perfect. This thing would build a canoe. We could build a canoe with this. Easy. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be easy, but it would do it. Look at that. That's, that's awesome. It's been a long time since I've held a knife that does this chore that good. I mean, that's, that's really nice. I like that a lot. I use hewning a lot in my bushcrafting. And a knife that'll hewn well like that, like if I was making a survival bow, I could hewn that sucker down real quick and then I could get it tuned in with draw knife and then scrape it nice and smooth. This is snake habitat. I want to get down so I can see the ground. Yet another one of the reasons for a jungle tool. Uh, a good way to judge a uh, a bush tool like this, like a bolo or a machete, is to do some snap cuts. 
on something really thick and dense. See, we got some briars here, some blackberry briars, and we've got some sassafras saplings, um, which smell really good when you do it. But I mean, if you can snap cut and just chop right through stuff like that, I mean, that's just a good testament of a good uh, bush tool. So, I mean, we got this one here. Gone. A little blackberry cane. Gone. I'm going to do this one because there's a couple other small ones growing and this isn't going to hurt anything. I'm going to leave all these other briars go because, like I say, we want the fruit. Okay, here we go. I mean, that is effortless. And I don't know if you can you see it now, how mm -hmm. clean cut through it was. Mm -hmm. It's effortless. This is a this is an awesome tool. I mean, it's not a real big, long, huge knife, but it acts like one. Jim Bensinger is a true student of the blade. He studies blade smithing to make them by hand from scratch, and he studies martial arts with the blade. And it reflects in his design and his production of a knife. His knives are balanced to fight and they're balanced to work. His ergonomics are designed to change handle positions very quickly and very fluidly. His knives are very light, but very strong and his convex edges are razor sharp. So, we know the bolo is a uh, jungle uh, tool weapon. Um, and the closest we can come to replicating a human skull is a coconut. So we're gonna see how effective this thing is against splitting coconut skulls. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty effective. Oh man, I might save one of these and get the water. Of course, it's probably fermented by now. All right, here we go. About missed it again. Yeah, that was nice and fermented. We're pretty much drinking coconut rum. <laughs> yeah. I did it again. I could survive on an island. Well, I'm pretty sure Mr. Ben Singer knows how to make a weapon. His, uh, his blades pretty much take body parts off and split skulls open. I mean, that, I mean this cleaved right through. It cut right through. That's pretty decent. Pretty decent indeed. I'll take it. I'm thinking when it breaks, it's not a if, it's a when. It's gonna break on that knot right there. But I want you to notice one thing I did. 
I left the bark and the moss all on that one side because all that is is natural camouflage. I mean that is practically invisible if I'm standing in the right spot, maybe bird hunting. Because that's pretty much exactly what this little bow is for. It's for a bird. Let's make an arrow and see what we see how it fires. Now when you're breaking a notch, what you want to do is you want to notch into the wood as deep as you want that groove to be. Which is, I want it to be about that deep. And then I come down, about right here, and do perpendicular grooves. And now we have a knock for the arrow for the bowstring. We'll strip this bark away, smooth it down, and then we'll fire the arrow. Probably going to be embarrassing. <laughs> I'll shoot it this way so I can retrieve it. That's not too bad. It's going to be a flick shot. Ready? Mm -hmm. Needs fletching, but it shoots. This, I would definitely use this to uh, gig fish or frog. That's that's what this bow is for. It's a short bow, little quick flick shots, standing above the water. You just want to shoot really hard straight down, so you really don't have to fletch it. But we could put a a gigging point on it. Thank you for watching our review of the Jim Ben Singer Bolo. This knife really outperformed my expectations. I normally don't pick up a knife to review that I'm not gonna like, and this one spoke to me the moment I held it. I knew it was gonna do well, but I didn't know it was gonna do as well as it did. This thing is made awesome. It's not the prettiest knife. Jim will tell you he doesn't make uh, something that looks so good it'll knock your socks off. What he wants to do is give you a knife that works. And his knives don't look good, but they work incredibly well. So I'm very impressed with this knife. It's very nimble, it's very light for a quarter inch thick bolo, but it's, there's just something about it you can't help but love. You'll probably see this thing more in other videos coming up, so just look for it. Now, if there is anything that you didn't see this knife do that you'd like to see it do, hit us up in the comments. Let us know. We get up five or six good requests, we'll make a follow-up video, and we'll post it up as soon as we can. So if there's anything you want to see, let us know. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again on another one.